Oh god, it's pulling me in! Oh, help! Okay, uh, I just broke this. I'm sorry, but this is obviously a boss fight. Okay, you can so- OW! How's it going, guys? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of Besiege. Now, today we're starting off with a big boy. This one's called Artie Boy IT35. It was actually a collaboration between two creators. Canyon actually made the actual vehicle that was called Cargo Boy, which was basically this front thing and this back thing. And then Blitz Splatopus decided to put a huge artillery in it uh, just because it's over the top and crazy. Now, to my surprise, though, this thing does work remarkably well so we're in the Gobi desert right now I thought we would see how accurate it is and uh, yeah see if we can play some artillery so I'm just gonna go for a little wander away from my only target right now which is that little windmill and we can see how good this thing is I mean this is not a light creation having a little bit of a hard time making it up that huge hill but I'm surprised it can even do it there we go and back down we go now I am lagging a little bit unfortunately for whatever reason this creation likes to bork my PC come on little thing you're doing it! Oh my god, it's sliding, but it's just got enough grip to get up here, so we really haven't went that far away, but I think we'll try it from right here. This is a nice view of our enemy, and uh, yeah, we can see how this thing does. Now, let's try and find a little bit of flat ground here. All right, I think this is as flat as we're going to find it, so we're going to put down the legs. That should stick it in place, and uh, now we get to the fun part of uh, hopefully shooting this house down. All right, so turret does have a, an actual camera on it. That's the only aiming cam we have now. This is artillery after all, so we do need to kind of lob our shots here. So let's just take a test shot here. Uh, we, I do have unlimited ammo on for a good reason. We'll see how good this is. First shot, can we do it? Uh, that's going way too far, isn't it? All right, so this is artillery, and we are doing a rather close target. That is so far away. Now, the easiest way would just be to lower the gun and shoot it, but I want to see if I can lob this in the air and maybe hit it, because that would be really, really fun. And let's use it like Artie and throw a few shots off at the same time. Now, we'll see where this goes. There they come! There they come! Oh my god, that was so close! Okay, we just need to drop it just a little bit. So let's uh, make sure it's all aimed up once again. That was so cool. I can't believe how close that was. Lower it. Okay, that might be a little bit too much lowering. So it's very hard to tell. Unfortunately, there's no like aiming camera or anything like that. Uh, so we'll try this out. Now this is a definitely a little bit sideways. So what I'm going to do is just do a clean sweep all the way across. There we go. So we'll drop quite a few this time. And this one might go too far now. And I see him falling in the air. This might be good. This might be good. Oh, did we get it? <laughs> yeah, we did it. That felt great. I love this thing, man. I mean, that wasn't too far away, but for an artillery, it did a damn good job at being artillery. And then you can simply put up your legs or not. They, they didn't break off for some reason. Some of my legs got stuck there. That's all right. I don't need them anymore. Target destroyed, let's move on. And we got another helicopter. This is a heavenly weaponized ATH-34 Drake Prototype 2. Now this thing, what's so cool about this thing is how good it is at combat. So we'll take it in the air so you can really see how it works. Uh, I will say I couldn't download the skins for this thing. It does look better than this, but I kind of like the Besiege style of it. So uh, that's just because the skins wouldn't download for me for some reason. Anyways, let's actually start it up first here. Uh, you can see how this works. Uh, basically, you just slowly increase the throttle, and then you try and basically balance in the air as helicopters do. So that's looking pretty good like that, and we're gonna go to the main cannon here. Now, this thing is amazing. So this thing's pretty easy to aim up. You can uh, rotate it while flying around. Obviously, it's got a very awesome cannon as well. Let's uh, go pay these guys a little visit here. And this is what I love about this thing, just the sheer amount of damage output you can do in a short time. Now, it's also got some other weapons on it. Let's go, uh, yeah, how about the knights here? Hey, knights! Oh, God, okay, that was a little bit too high. Let's uh, lower it down a little bit. I'm gonna go say hi to the peasants then and give them free rockets. There you go, guys! Free rockets for all. Oh, this is cool. Oh, God, don't hit that. I hope I'm high enough. Ooh, that was so close. All right, let's actually go up a little. Oh, no, that's going down. That's going down. That's going down. Go up a little bit. Oh, what did I just 
Ow. I hit something. All right, but we got one more weapon to check out on this thing. Uh, it's just a crossbow, so it's not anything too crazy, but... I mean, oh, those actually only go straight. That's kind of lame, so we gotta go nice and low, which is not easy with this thing. This thing's got a crazy throttle, so let's just... Well, let's get out of this view since it's not gonna help too much, and... Hey, guys, how's it going? All right, see if we can take out a few. There you go. Get the hell out of here. I'm not supposed to be really on the ground there, but yeah, you get the idea. A uh, really fun weaponized creation. I do love the, uh, the control scheme of it. It doesn't feel like a helicopter at all, I will say that, but it is very fun for doing a ridiculous amount of damage really, really quickly. Well, guys, I gotta say, I'm excited for this one. You remember when I said I wanted a We Need to Go Deeper minigame? Well, I don't want to spoil it for myself, but if we look in the distance, as you can see, we need to go deeper in Besiege. This is the weirdest thing ever, and this thing's actually floating away. So let's actually reset everything and start this thing up. So now we are actually in the minigame. We're, 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 we're going deeper. I think that's got means. to... Oh, good. Okay, um... That, that didn't happen and we need to go deeper. Okay, we're back. We need to go deeper. This time we should... Ooh, the recoil is quite real here. Don't fall off the ledge. Ah, uh, but... Oh my god, I can actually... <laughs> I can flip. Oh, dude, this guy listened to me and did everything right. This is the greatest thing ever. So... Uh, we are quite literally playing We Need to Go Deeper in Besiege. Uh, I had to turn my Explosive Balls mod off because, uh, well, the game didn't obviously like that. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go. We're going down. It's a little bit shaky. Uh, the controls are something to get used to, that's for sure, but it is working. It's working. Okay, is that... Is this dangerous? Okay, that is definitely not dangerous. Okay, we can't go that way, though. So let's go down Oh god, here. Oh! Okay, avoidance is key. I don't think we can kill these things. There we go. Oh, that, that's a fish. Okay. Let's get him down. Oh, that can't kill the fish! No! Come back! No! I don't want to go higher. We need to go deeper. That's the whole point of this. All right, like I said, con control scheme takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you got it, it's not too bad. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, the fish is coming up next. Oh god, that fish. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, you bastard. So we can't kill him. I don't know what we can kill. Let's... Oh god. Oh, man. You you really hurt me there, fish. I think I broke you, though. All right, but uh, yeah, I don't really know what we're supposed to kill. I gotta assume... Oh, crap. We need to wait a bit. All right, that doesn't go that far. We should be okay over here. Oh, that's shaking like crazy. There's some crazy boss coming up. Oh, God. Do these things come towards me? All right, you bastard. Get the hell out of here. Uh, did I break it? I think I broke it. I don't even know if I'm supposed to shoot these things, but I'm gonna get them the hell out of my way. Oh, that's my cannonball. I got scared of my own cannonball. Don't, don't break me. Okay. You know what? Let's just avoid these things. He's still alive, so that really didn't help too much. Uh, what is that? Is that supposed to be like an octopus? That's the coolest thing ever. Okay, so let's go... Down. I feel like there's something over here, so I want to go down this way. Oh, that's fire. Okay, that doesn't even make sense, game. We're supposed to be underwater. How does that work? All right, well, let's go this way. Obviously, we don't want to get hit by fire. Is this a dead end? Nope. We're still going. We're going deeper. Look at how shaky it is down there. Ah, uh, there's smoke coming off. Oh, God, it's really shaking. All right. Ah, uh, okay, arrow. This way. H? What, what, what does H mean? Oh, God. Okay, we're just gonna shoot that. Shoot it again. I don't know what H means, but I need to get this. How am I not breaking it? So it says if you shoot it 10 times and it doesn't break, chances are you can't break it. So I'm really shooting these things just to see if we can indeed break them. The recoil, though, is really messing me up. I'm actually amazed this thing hasn't been broken. All right, I think I'm just gonna try and avoid it. I have shot it about 10 times. I'm gonna listen to the creator. And we're just gonna, oh god, keep going. Am I done? No, there's gotta be more. Okay, I don't, I don't like this guy anymore. I need to, just let me out of here. Don't fall off the map. All right, there we go. We're okay. Let's just, yes, push this way. Now, oh, we gotta open it up. Can I, some, oh, is this a boss fight? Do I actually have to beat it? Oh god, what is, what is going on? I didn't want to get stuck to this. Oh, it ripped me right off. There's my thing over there, and I got stuck on this grabber thing, and it ripped me off, so I can't do anything. All right, this is really fun, though. I want to come back and figure out what we got to do there, because obviously, we're going the right direction. We're going deeper, but uh, that was a little bit of a challenge there. 
All right, reading the description, it says there's caves, and I didn't think about this, but we can actually break these off, so this is kind of like the seaweed, and we need to go deeper. At least I think so. So I'm going to go see if there's anything possibly over here after we break these all off. There we go. Get them the hell out of the way. They didn't glitch me out, so I've never been over here. Maybe there's something I need to do over here. There's all my cannonballs. What the hell is that? Can I shoot it? All right, I wasn't able to shoot it. Can we go through? Oh, it, it mentioned there was a cave in this game. I'm assuming that's the Besiege equivalent of a cave. So are we in the cave? Is there anything good in here? I saw fire down below. I want to make sure we're getting everything, though. Okay, so there's a gripper over there. Ah, yes, go down. All right, so, ooh, maybe this unlocks it. This looks like a pressure pad here. Hold on. Let me just see if we shoot. Oh, God. oh. Oh, what happened? Oh, God, it blew up. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, so that's how to defeat that one. Let's just turn off this fire if we can. Okay, can't turn off the fire, it seems like. Come on. Nope, not working. We're just going to go around it then. All right, but I wonder if that did something or if that was just a boss to kill. So can we get out? Yeah, we can get out right here. And we got to go all the way back through, I guess. I want to see what's in here, though. I want to do more exploring now. Now that I know I can break these things off. So we got, uh, damn, another fish over here. Oh, God. What's weird is all these fish, I thought they would be wooden so we could break them. I don't think that was a direct hit. Did we affect them at all? Oh, shit. Yeah, we got rid of them. All right. Take that, fish. Trying to explore this old place. Oh, God, sawfish. Okay, sawfish don't really hurt you, it seems like. But I don't want to take the risk because uh, I'm sure I can break if I get too cocky. So... Let's go down here. That's another dead end. I'm really good at finding the dead ends in this game, clearly. So obviously the only way we can go is this direction and we're back at the grabby guy. I need to get this guy down because he does grab you and then rip you apart. So, oh God, I hate this recoil. It's really difficult to use. I don't even think, I can't really get a good shot off. There, oh, 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 there we go, come on. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to take this guy out, but I'm gonna give it a few good shots. Just to see, he's just bouncing around now. It's not even affecting him. Okay, we're back. And I think I might be overthinking this because why else would it say H than to just hit the letter H? So, oh my God, that was it. I, I feel, oh God, it's pulling me in. Oh, help. Okay, uh, I just broke this. I'm sorry, but this is obviously a boss fight. Okay, you can, so ow. How do I, how the hell, oh, what, it's flicking it at me. Stop that. I'm just trying to get in here to figure out what the hell's going on. Okay, so we're into the boss room. This guy obviously has some uh, crazy sucking action going on. Oh, God. There he is. There he is. I can see him. All right, I got to get to the side of him. And, oh, take him down. Did we get him? I think I did it. There he goes. Yes. Take that, you bastard. Okay, I got to say, that was a really fun minigame. That was extremely difficult. And what a cool design. So I just want to make sure... We started, yes, way down. Actually, we started way up up there, and this is obviously the ending because it's as deep as we can go. So that was awesome. A lot of different mechanics here. I love it when people blend two games together. That was really fun. The only thing I don't know is what does this thing do? You know what? Let's put drag objects on just to see what it does because it didn't open the gate. That's what I figured it would do. I think it's just meant to just kind of shoot it and explode. Okay, so I, I didn't know if it did something or not. And check out this thing, guys. This is, well, a very awesome looking supercar, but it's got a few unique tricks up its sleeve, as Besiege creations usually do. So I thought we would just start it off, take a little spin with it, and see how fast it is. Now, it's not going to break any land speed records. We got uh, a velocity of about 200 kilometers an hour, so not too bad for this good looking thing. Let's take the first turn here, see how good it is. And yeah, we've definitely seen better around this track, but uh, that's why I'm not showing this car. This thing's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve, obviously. All right, first of all, we got a back end that can transform into a convertible. This is also a rocket booster in the back that we can keep out. Totally optional. I just like the fact that you can put on the roof. Now, can we actually do the next thing with the roof down? I think we can because this also has wings, damn it. And turn it into rocket mode. The, oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. For, for first flight didn't go well. <laughs> God. All right. Let, let's just keep going here and see if we can take it off again. 
All right, we got one wing. It is not... Okay, yeah, it's not flying right now. Let's try that again, shall we? Maybe the roof is what screwed it up. That, 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 that's my whole excuse. Totally wasn't my driving. It was the damn roof. So let's just try it right from the start here. We'll bring out those wings. This feels like it needs to be in Saint Row. Is it a Saints Row creation? Because I feel like it should be if it isn't, because it looks exactly like it's made for the Saints Row world. So now that we, you know, have given it a second to fly, it actually works really good. And yeah, it really is just a flying supercar with a bunch of other features as well. All right, let's try, oh God. <laughs> That has got to be the worst landing I've ever done. I was going to actually try and land there, and that's what happened. Jesus. All right, well, let's try out that rocket mode. Now that I know I can't fly for crap. So if we open this up, now, now you can use rocket mode in both flight and ordinary mode. So, uh, yeah, let's turn this thing on, see how fast we can get it. So, uh, yeah, definitely increases the speed quite a bit, actually. We're going 300 now instead of 200. So increased it quite a bit. Can't do churns for shit, though. So uh, that's not surprising when you're going that fast. All right, but that's really it for this one, guys. I feel bad saying that's really it because, I mean, it's a flying supercar. That's quite a bit that has a rocket in the back. You know what? Let's try the rocket out once again. So can we do this on the fly? Oh, oh, yes, we can. And this thing goes pretty fast in flight mode. Let's do the boost, though, and see. Oh, wow, actually. All right, we're boosting the 600. Yeah, it seems to go about actually 7, 8. Jesus, all right, I want to hit the ground going at this speed. All right, we're going down at about 700 kilometers an hour, and beautiful. Gotta love the slow motion crashing and Besiege as well. And on that bombshell, we're going to wrap up this one, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Besiege. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.